What's up, y'all? This is Velarde, and I'm going to show you how to slide 808s. Now, there's been tons of issues that people have been going through, and one of the problems is, is that when they have sample 808s, they're not allowed to slide them anymore. I've seen a lot of problems. I had the same problem. They're not allowed to slide it, and it's very annoying because sliding it makes hip-hop and trap beats, and just beats in general, a lot better because it gives it more flavor, right? So... Now, I know there's specific ways. Now, just to let you know, you can do it with factory 808s. So if you have 808s from, let's say, Harmer, or you have 808s from Flex, or those are things that come with um, FL Studio or 3, um, what is it called, 3X OS. You can make 808s. There's YouTube tutorials on that. You can make them sound just as good as the rappers do. Then you'll be able to slide with no problem. And that doesn't take too long to do that. So I might even do a tutorial on that. So you're not out of luck and they can sound just as good as your favorite uh, producers and, and rappers or whatever so um but um a trick that I learned because I had issues with that if you have contact if you don't have contact then you gotta use uh, native you gotta use instruments that come with FL studio but what you can do is you can drag um, hold on you can can drag it into contact right what you do now you click this little wrench click this wrench go to pre um you click the wrench and um at this point then you go to the script editor and then you go to preset over here you go to factory you go to um, performance and usually what the slide is is portamento you for the mono mode actually this is important change the mono mode to um, legato change the portamento to auto and the time you want it to you can change it however much you want to be to it, however much you want it to overlap and slide over a beat um, and now look I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you, and you don't even have to do this. You don't have to double click it. You don't have to click, and I'll go over the other ways. But now you don't have to click the slide button, which is this, and then you click this to create a slide. Now that you did it in contact, it's already in Portamento. And um, a lot of 808s, they have this issue where they you play them and they end very quick and they're not long enough so there's an actual way that you can make them last way longer than that so this is how you do it so what you do is you go down here and you go to time machine and then you turn the speed all the way down and now so if we go back up to 100 this is what it sounded like, the 808, right? You see it fades. But if you want it to stay, you just turn the speed here all the way down to zero. And now look. Way longer. Right? Let's go back to speed 100. Died off way. It's just fading, but it just sounds way more. Enough for you to definitely get a longer slide. And, um, let me see. I think it could even go longer. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot longer. So that's how you extend them. And sometimes you even have samples that are even longer, long, like piano keys that don't ever end, which is irritating. You can put that in contact and then put up the speed and it solves the problem. So there you go. And the other way, and the other way that you do it is the way when you're just using a factory 808 that comes with FL Studio. You just click the slide button, but you also make sure you have a, a note that's not a slide, which is this this thing here indicates that it's slide. Or you can go here and click. You can um. There's a slide button over here. Um, 
right by the on on the top of the piano roll, which is the same thing as this. And um, if you go, if you just press this, you see, because this is a sample. It's a sample 808. It's not from FL Studio. So I'm doing the slide, but you don't hear a slide, right? Now we're going to pick a factory thing. I'm just going to use FL keys because you don't have to only do slides in with your 808s. You could do slides with just keys. Now, this comes with FL Studio, so I know that this is going to slide already. Now watch. Now I'm going to do the way that everyone knows how to do it. If you don't, you just double click the note. This will come up, and this is the slide button. And watch. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Let me put another one under there, underneath it. Mm -hmm. Watch. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can. That's the answer. If you don't, if you're using something that came with FL Studio, you can slide it. If you're using stuff that comes from drum kits or any other sounds, wherever you get them, it's, you're probably not going to be able to slide it. Most cases. And it's a new thing that with the new update, I think, of FL Studio. It sucks because I used to be able to slide anything, and now it's annoying. There's also another way, which is automation, but that's, uh, that's more advanced, and I'll get into that next time. So that's how you slide 808s. And remember... If you don't have contact, because it sometimes is expensive, you could just go to three, um, three X OS, and you can just um, you can uh, what's it called? Three X OS, and you can you know create your own bass here. You know what I'm saying? And you can make it stronger. You can make it have more punch. There's tons of things you could do. You can put EQs on it, make it your 808. There's tons of stuff you could do. So, and this comes with, this comes with FL Studio. So I know this is going to slide. Watch. See? So you're good. So don't worry. I know a lot of, I was there. Don't worry about it. And... Glad I can help. Give me a give me a subscribe, and um, you know, stay hit the bell notification on the right, and uh, stay tuned because I I know how much that is annoying. So peace.